a great showdown in this final in the Fibble Under 17 Women's Oceania Championship here in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea, as Australia takes on New Zealand at the Sir John Guys Stadium. Also, this will be the final game for the gold playoff within the with these two teams in the six days of championship and your coaches for this match are Kalia Hanks, umpires Tony Lee Smith Henrik and Luigi John. A good crowd for this game. Both teams had parents coming in as well into Papua New Guinea to throw support and moral. Again, same for the women's games national anthem shortly And the game Australia, New Zealand. Goal playoff. Again, same for the women. Both Australia and New Zealand. Qualify for the 2024 FIBA under 18 Asian Championship. The New Zealand lineup Kailani, Albert Neha, Tanika Walker, Oledja Walker. Tia Elizabeth Pavihi, Olivia Lassi, Annika Scott, Kavana Lene, Anna Bright, Rebecca Moores, Elise Kaline, Katie Ella Harrington, Elise Gilbert, Waiheke Kohunui, Head Coach Joshua Thompson. Australia lineup, Sienna Lehman, Tayana Bourne, 
Bonnie Diaz as captain, Sienna Harvey, Monique Bongbongi, Saffron Shields, Opal Bird, Lara Somfa, Hilary Fuller, Jade Crook, head coach, Kristen Ray Ville. If you didn't notice, uh, the girls are wearing, uh, the Australian girls are wearing black armbands on the left arm tonight, as well as the boys who did with the match yesterday. Uh, this is to commemorate the life of Kevin Combs, an Australian Paralympic basketball player. He is also the first ever Indigenous athlete to compete at the Paralympic or Olympic Games. He was 18 when he attended the 1960 Games and competed under, until 1980. He was twice captain of the Auss Aussie Rollers. So this, uh, both the men and women's team from the Australian paying homage to uh, an icon back in uh, Australia. Great respect, the Australian girls showing for this icon. The Australian uh, looking for a trip of three, the defending champs. That's right. New Zealand certainly would want to cause an upset. It's always been a tough match between these two teams. Uh, earlier on today, we had the Australian men uh, win a gold medal and defending a third-time title against the New Zealand. So we're hoping to see a bit of change there with this uh, final matchup between the Australia and New Zealand women as well. Definitely a hectic six days coming to an end sh soon. Five nations competed. <laughs> Other Oceania countries couldn't make it for this year's under 17 Oceania Championship. Main reason in preparation for the Pacific Games showdown in Honiara, Solomon Islands. <laughs> Australia Shields will take that responsibility and pressure to get the team into real play. Introducing your starting five for Team New Zealand in number five, Tanika Leja Walker. Number 11, Kavana Lini. Number 12, Anna Bright. Number 13, Rebecca Morris. And the captain herself, Elsie El Gilbert in number 28. For the Australian starting five, with Sienna Harvey in number four, Monique Bobonji in number five, the captain herself, Saffron Shields in number six, Opal Bed number seven, and Lara Samfai in number eight. And we're seconds away from tip off of this gold medal playoff between the Australia and New Zealand women. Preparing for the jump off. Game is on, Australia. Shields. Shields trying to drive it in for Australia. Ledger Walker.
Shields. Australia go up for the three. New Zealand, Gilbert. Ledger will come. Shields with her. Australia now in possession. Bong Bongi goes up, gets that two in for Australia. Ledger Walker for New Zealand. Moores. Lene. She takes the two for New Zealand. They have leveled with Australia. Shields. Harvey goes up. That's a two counted. Free throw for Harvey. Doesn't get it. Australia still with it. Good. Ledger Walker. Bright. Gilbert. New Zealand trying to go past some fight. She gets it in for New Zealand. Shields. Australia. Bongbongi. Gilbert. Ledger Walker, possession for New Zealand. Bright. Some five, Australia Shields. Some five. Good. Doesn't find the loop. Moores will take it in for New Zealand. Right. New Zealand, Lene, she gets it in for New Zealand. They surge ahead, two points to Australia's four. Bongbongi for Australia goes up. So two free throws, it is for Australia, some five, Bong Bongi, she misses this one, last throw. She gets it in. Ledger Walker on the goal for New Zealand. Ledger Walker for the three. Unsuccessful. Shields. Bong Bongi. Javi. Good. And they go for the three points. Comes off. New Zealand, bright. Some fire trying to keep up to her. 
They go for the three, it's in. New Zealand nine, Australia five. Javi Shields, collected well by New Zealand. Gilbert uh, misses that. Shields, Australia. Lena with her. Free throw, Shields, Australia. She's got it in. Saffron Shields does it well for Australia. New Zealand now. Lene. So far, we'll take it in. And Shields now onto the ball. Long pass there. New Zealand. Have you missed that opportunity? Let's see. Possession for New Zealand. Australia, Harvey, Layman, Bond, they work it out, Harvey, she goes in, and that's a good one for her, the score leveled on nine each, Australia coming up with the ball, Layman. Layman. Harvey trying to get past New Zealand. He goes up. So subs for New Zealand. Harvey gets in. Last throw. It's in. Australia 11, New Zealand 9. Albert Neha, captain of New Zealand. New Zealand, Gilbert. Pressure put up by Australia. She goes past that. Couldn't get it in. Layman, Bon is there. Bong Bongi. Couldn't get it in. Gilbert get the possession for New Zealand. Albert Neha. Layman's with her. 
Lassi. Harvey, Lehman still with her. Gilbert gets that shot. Really for Australia. Tom Fai takes it in. Layman. Gilbert's with her. Giving time to the girls to free up. Bond. Game born. Time out for New Zealand. Both teams showing uh, energy right there. Uh, we have six minutes gone and three minutes, 40 seconds on the clock, and both teams are just showing that energy that they really need this win. So they're going neck and neck to score the baskets as much as they can. Still very close game. Just two points in difference. <laughs> New Zealand are looking to make an upset tonight, so they're giving all they have to ensure that they, they cannot lose this uh, battle. But all in all, uh, both teams already qualified for the under-18 uh, Asian Championships. That's next year in Singapore. Yes, that's right. So regardless of who wins uh, the title tonight, they're still qualified. So they're one step away from uh, going to the under-19 World Cup. It's still too early to tell who's going to take out the title. Usually it would come in the third quarter where we can determine the winner. It's been quite this pattern throughout the championship. Bond does it get this one in. That's in. Australia 12, New Zealand 9. Albert Neha for New Zealand born, pressuring her. Does well to get past. Block shot there by uh, Fuller. Let's see. Not so good pass to Moss. So Australia. Ball possession. Fuller will take that ball for Australia. Layman on the goal for Australia. Free throw Australia, layman. Not a good one. This one looks good. Australia 13, New Zealand 9. Albert Neha, layman with her. 
The drive's in. Neyman's got the ball for Australia. Shields. Layman for Bond. New Zealand's there. She gets the two. Big play by New Zealand. They go for the three. Successfully in. New Zealand 12, Australia 15. Australia. Layman goes up herself, does not get the two. Collected by New Zealand. Moss, she's got it in. Two for New Zealand, narrowing the score to a point difference. Shields now, Albert Neha with her. Goes up Shields. New Zealand. Bright. Shields trying to pressure her. Moores. Albert Neha. Bright. And. Ledger Walker comes in, Albert Neha goes off for New Zealand. New Australia. Shields goes for the three-pointer, she gets it. A good shot. Australia 18, New Zealand 14. New Zealand. Lene. They go for the three. Doesn't quite make it, so Australia in possession. Australia still at it. Trying to get the basket counted. New Zealand. <laughs> Less than a minute. Let's go, New Walker, New Zealand. Ledger Walker. Moores to take that shot. Couldn't find the loop. Bong Bongi, Shields. Shields. throw. She is what is done. She gets that one too. Australia 20, New Zealand 14. New Zealand driving it in. They get the two. What an amazing uh, first quarter there by both teams. Uh, New Zealand, Australia currently leading on four points. That's 20 points. And New Zealand on 16. Talk about the performance between both teams. We've seen uh, Shields will be off to play uh, women's NBL in Australia next year. She's just prepping up for that. So. 
and also um, build up for her when before she goes. Good contract signing. She did. Still anyone's game for the gold. New Zealand coach Joshua Thompson. Hard at work there to get the girls to play it right when they take the call for the second quarter. The same for head coach Christian Veal for Australia. The efficiency after um, first quarter. Sienna Harvey, Saffron, Saffron Shields, and Monique Bobongi have managed to score most of the baskets for Australia. And Kavana Lene for New Zealand. So it's going to be a good uh, second quarter with these uh, teams. And a sideline there from Sampai over to Shields. Javi. Shields. Sampai. Javi tries to break it in. Just couldn't. New Zealand. New Zealand, goes low for the three, and successful Shields with the rebound for Australia. Harvey, Ledger Walker with her. Some fight. She gets it in. Australia looking good now on 22. New Zealand 16. Shields. Ledger Walker for New Zealand. That's a good three from New Zealand. New Zealand 19, Australia 24. Some five, Harvey. Shields. New Zealand with the possession. Lenny. Shields. Got the ball off. Bird. Shields, Bong Bongi, some fight. Ah, ball taken. Well, by Lenny, New Zealand. Walker. Lenny. Just couldn't find Pavihi. Shields. 
Harvey onto it. Shield, she goes for the three. Doesn't find the net. Lene brings it up for New Zealand. And they make an attempt for two. Rebound by Australia. Harvey. Bongbongi goes up. And that one is in. Australia 26, New Zealand 19. Shields goes off. Lehman comes in for Australia. Gilbert takes it in to Ledger Walker. Harvey's there with her. Harvey to Bright. New Zealand, Gilbert, Elsa Walker, Shields is there with her, she takes the two, doesn't get it, mm, not so good fall there, let's see. in possession with the ball for New Zealand. Gilbert, she goes up for the shot, misses, Harvey, in Australia, now. Harvey still with the ball, she goes up, that's the two. Right for New Zealand, Gilbert, oh. Not so good. Bongbongi gets that one in. That was lost opportunity for New Zealand. And a timeout there for New Zealand. Six minutes to go before the end of second quarter. Australia on 30 and New Zealand trailing on 19 points. Seeing Australia. Stretch the score. Big margin there. Australia is starting to run away. Hoping to see uh, the New Zealand side catch up in this uh, next six minutes to half time. And uh, timing for both teams. His final playoff definitely give him some good entertainment to the crowd. Gilbert take it in for New Zealand. Bright. Australia everywhere with the defense. Shields. Leslie giving the challenge. 
That was a good one. New Zealand. Let's see. That was a lazy one, but she managed successfully. Get the free throw. To Ponte, she makes it count. Lassie's got that one in, so 22. Australia 30. Harvey, she goes past herself. Free throw for Harvey. Just a bit too much there. Second attempt successful. Australia 31, New Zealand 22. Abad Naha, New Zealand. She can sit well in there. Harvey. Playing it fast, trying to get past Albert Neha. <laughs> Australia, Harvey Shields. She goes up, bounces off. Australia there. Bright. New Zealand. Lene. Bright. Couldn't find it, Australia. And a, it's a good one from Kula. Australia 33, New Zealand 24. Right. Gilbert. So Gilbert will take the free throw for New Zealand. They need points to be on the scoreboard. Gilbert gets this one in. He's got one more to go. And that's also good. New Zealand registering 26. Australia 33. Avi on the go for Australia. Bird gets the three. Oh, that's not allowed. Gilbert, Albert Neha. Ledger Walker, Harvey with her, putting pressure. She goes up, doesn't get it. Shields now, Australia, <coughs> slowing down the game. A three-point attempt, Diaz to Shields. She goes in, the two for Australia. Ledger Walker, New Zealand. That's a good one, two. 
New Zealand. Australia 28, Australia 35. A team foul there by Australians, and Carline will take a free throw for New Zealand. Just got it in. Australia with the ball. Born. She tries to get past. Abaneha up goes that short. Abaneha for New Zealand. Gilbert. Lene goes up for the three. Misses. Diaz. Australia. Australia, a good basket there. Cook. Ledger Walker. Lene. She goes up. Oh, couldn't get the two. Her line was unable to assist. Subs coming in for both teams. Albert Neha goes up, doesn't get it. Australia there. Shields. She shoots. That's the three. That's a terrific shot by Shields. Australia 40, New Zealand 29, Ledger Walker, Gilbert, that's a two for New Zealand, New Zealand 31, Australia 40, nine points in difference, Shields, Crook, she finds it. Albert Neha, Diaz with her, Ledger Walker, New Zealand on the go, good collect, Moores, New Zealand 33, Australia 42, Shields goes for the three. New Zealand. Ledger Walker goes for the three. That's a long pass from Shields to Bond. Bond goes up. Gilbert, New Zealand. Yes, in play for Australia. Crook was there. Australia 46, New Zealand 33. Shields has got the ball. She'll go up. Couldn't bond there. Assisted to get the two. Albert Neha, New Zealand, Diaz with her. And they'll go for the three point. A push foul there from uh, the New Zealand girls. Uh, Australia to take free throws before 
half time. Bird. Shields, Australia. Avi Heath with Shields. Great pressure by Avihi. Time out from Australia and just three seconds to go before the uh, end of second quarter. Australia currently leading by 48 points, New Zealand on 33. Is the goal playoff between Australia and New Zealand? Australia. What an exciting first two quarters for both teams. Uh, this is the final match of uh, this sixth day of this FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships right here in the nation's capital, Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. Lucas, what did you think of uh, these first two quarters with the girls on the floor? Well, we predicted that it would be a... Uh, 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 a strong game between these two. I think New Zealand is still in. And the third quarter would see who really pulls it off there to get the te their team wi to win. Indeed, we still have two more quarters to go, so hopefully there's some changes by the third quarter to de determine who gets the gold in this um, final match. Talk about the combination um, between Saffron Shields and uh, Tiana Bond. They've been uh, doing great for the team in this uh, last quarter. They did well. Yes, every time Shields makes attempt to bring the ball down, Bond is there, ready to receive the ball on the other he end to get baskets going for Australia. I think that's a good work by the two. Also, assisting well is Sienna Harvey. She is everywhere. So we'll take a quick break, and when we return, it will be the third quarter of this final match, day six here in the nation's capital, Port Mosby. You're watching the gold playoff between the Australians leading on 48 points and New Zealand on 33.
third quarter to begin is the final playoff Australia New Zealand the score Australia stands at 48 New Zealand 33 This will be the quarter to see which team to really pull it off all the way to the final quarter. Australia to get the ball possession. Game's on. Shields now. Couldn't get that. New Zealand. Ledger Walker. Gilbert. Lenny. Right, goes up for the three. Doesn't quite find it. Bong Bongi, Australia. And a push foul there from the New Zealand side. Bobongi will take a two free throw for Australia. It's in. Second throw. Bong Bongi. Australia quick to collect the rebound. And New Zealand hand there. Australia Shields goes for that three. Oh. Australia Javi Shields. She goes up for the three. Just couldn't find it. New Zealand. Lenny. Shields with her. Loses it. Australia. They try to work it out from outside. They go in. A good one by Bird. Right for New Zealand. Harvey's there in front of her. Ledger Walker. Couldn't find it. Harvey. Gilbert now, New Zealand. Ledger Walker. Right, right, trying to bring it in. Ledger Walker, right, bird with her. Ledger Walker for the three. Shields. Abby goes up, doesn't find the three. Right for New Zealand. Ledger Walker. Lene. Right, Harvey with her. Australia tight on the defense. Right goes up. Doesn't get it. She'll quick to collect the rebound. She'll go down the court herself. 
Bong Bongi. Bong Pai. Ben Folder and uh, Australia to take a free throw. However, a timeout there for New Zealand. New Zealand score still remains on 33. Australia leading with 51 points. It's going to be a bit of worry to coach Joshua Thompson. And to the assistant coaches. They really need to step up in this uh, third quarter. They really need points to catch up with the Australian side. So timing for both teams. Some fight to take the, the free throw for Australia. First basket is good. She'll take the second throw. That's also a good one. Australia 53, New Zealand 33. New Zealand, Lenny. New Zealand will need to use Moores for the rebound. Free throw, Lenny. Doesn't get this one in. Still not in. Some five. Still at it. Doesn't quite get it in. Albert Hart, New Zealand. chance for some fight to extend Australia's lead. That's in. She's also got this one in. Australia 55, New Zealand 33. Albert Neha. Uh, ball. An attempt by Ha. 
Abi. New Zealand in possession. Albert Neha. And they try to bring it in. Still on play, Australia. Some fight. Substitutions coming in for both teams. Kohonu to Albert Nehai. Lehman with her. Goes up. Gilbert. He's trying to save the ball for New Zealand. Sonfai, Lehman, Australia, Shields, Sonfai, Bird, Sonfai, and now New Zealand come up with the ball for Vihi. Gilbert. So New Zealand to have the possession of the ball. Gilbert. Don't fight with Gilbert. High defense. Australia. New Zealand again, bright. Right, Gilbert tries to get past some five. She gets the two. Australia. Born. Troop. Layman. Shields. Have a hit with Shields. She goes past them, Shields. Albert Neha, New Zealand. Bavi He. Four minutes remain in play. In this third quarter, right? Australia now on the goal. Diaz. Crook. Bond. Bond goes up. That's a two for Australia. New Zealand. Time out for New Zealand. 
three minutes on the clock. Australia leading 59 points, New Zealand on 35. This is the last match of the FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championship, a gold medal playoff between the New Zealand and Australia women. Australia in a commanding lead. <laughs> got three minutes just over three minutes left in this third quarter Timing for both teams. Caroline will take the ball for New Zealand. Albert Neha. Born with her. A great block shot there from the Australian side. Crook tries to go past the defense of Australia, New Zealand. Diaz for the three. Just couldn't get it. Leslie was there. Bright. Diaz with her. Gilbert. Albert Neha. Team foul for New Zealand. Fuller will take the ball on the sidelines for Australia. New Australia now. Diaz. Crook. Layman gets it in successfully. New Zealand. And a two. Messi does it. Layman for Australia. Free throw, Australia, Crook, Jade Crook has got this one in. And that's also a good one. Australia, 63. New Zealand, 37. Let's see. Diaz dead. Right. Ledger Walker. Lena trying to find face, she gets it. Australia now. Born to Crook. Oh. A bit of tussle there from both teams. So team foul from New Zealand. Crook to take the free throw and it's good. And 
and she's got this one in. Right. Ledger Walker. to make it count for New Zealand in the free throw. He's got this one in. Last throw. He's got this one in as well. New Zealand. 41, Australia 65. And time out there for Australians. Uh, Australia currently in the lead with 65 points. New Zealand on 41. We have one minute on the clock before this uh, end of third quarter. The real pressure for New Zealand would be in the next quarter. Fourth quarter. Indeed. They will really burn it out to try catch up to Australia. The Australian, uh, their guards are already on a let. Uh, very defensive play there uh, on the courts. Um, they're, just, they're just trying their best to avoid the New Zealand side from uh, scoring more hopes. They will take it seriously. Shields is there to guide them. Time in for both teams. Long pass there by Layman to Crook. Diaz. So foul there from the Australian side, Ledger Walker to take a free throw for New Zealand. That's one in easily. Does it well again. Australia now. Layman to Bond. Puller, Bond. New Zealand's got the ball. Let's see. Let's see, drives it in. Ledger Walker takes the three. Gets it in well. That's what New Zealand will need, more of those threes. But Diaz tries to respond with a three. The rebound collected well by New Zealand. Ledger Walker, right. New Zealand trying to See if they can put in some basket. Oh. Lena just couldn't get it well for three there. New Zealand picking momentum in this last uh, less than a minute. Getting the crowd off their feet to uh, support. So this is the end of third quarter. Australia currently leading on 65 points. New Zealand 46. At the end of this uh, final quarter, it will depend determine who takes the gold in this uh, last day.
and the finals for the FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships here in the nation's capital, Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. Earlier on today, we saw the Australian men and New Zealand men also compete for gold playoff, uh, with Australia coming on top with uh, defending the title in the third for, for the third time. Um, prior to that, we also had the bronze playoffs between the PNG and Samoa women. Seen Samoa gaining, winning this match to end the bronze, and. Samoan men also winning the match against Guam to claim bronze for the country. So umpires doing a great job here in this goal playoff. Again, Saffron Shields with most of the efficient points uh, after third quarter for Australia and Lene with scoring uh, 21 points for New Zealand in this third quarter. So New Zealand's Bright will take the ball from the sideline. And it's game on for this fourth quarter of the final match for the FIBA Under-17 Women's Oceania Championship here in Port Mosby. It's on fire to take the ball in. Harvey, Australia now on the attack. A quick ball to Shields. Australia, Harvey, back to Shields, Harvey. Some fight drives in. Couldn't get the two. Lene gets it down for New Zealand. Ledger Walker. Bright. Some fight with Bright. A three pointer attempt by New Zealand gets in well. So on fire to go up for Australia. So Australia 67, New Zealand 49. Bright for New Zealand. Lene. She goes in. Lene. That's the two. New Zealand 51, Australia 67. Harvey. Australia, she goes in herself. And that's a good. Four. So bright now for New Zealand. Subs coming in for Australia. Bright. Lenny. Right, New Zealand now on the attack. Ledger Walker drives in. Push foul there for, from uh, the Australian side and Ledger Walker will take a free throw for New Zealand. Good chance for New Zealand. This one's not good. So I want to improve on that for the second throw. 
And that's him. New Zealand 52, Australia 69. Bon just couldn't take that uh, big throw there from her teammates. Right, New Zealand. Some fight there. Ledger Walker. Lennon. She goes in. Another push foul there from the Australian side, and Elena will take a two free throw for New Zealand. New Zealand must make it count in the free throws. Successfully begs this one in. Lene uh, just comes off. There's some five was passed on that. Australia on the go. Shields trying to get in. Javi goes up. That's a, a score for Australia. Bright New Zealand. Right goes up for the three. Again, New Zealand. Bond, Shields, Australia. Javi, Bond trying to get in. Bad for a break. That does good. it for Australia. Bond, he's got this one. Again, Australia looking for a chance here. Bird, some five, some five again. This time she's got it in. Bright, New Zealand. Ledger Walker, born with her. Moors couldn't get it. Born. Javi. So Javi. Not so good for her in this one. She'll want to make it count in the second throw. Comes off again, Australia, to make another attempt. Shields, some fight. Australia still has the possession. Born for the three, doesn't find it. She goes in again. Harvey. Just couldn't find the loop with those, how many attempts. There's so many attempts Australia had there. Ledger Walker in. Scott for New Zealand. Ledger Walker. New Zealand coming up with the ball again. A 
chance for New Zealand. Subs coming in for Australia. Nacho Walker. Lene. Layman Shields. Shields trying to look for a Couldn't find Bong Bong in time. Lene, bring it down for New Zealand. Ledger Walker. She goes up for the three, bounces off. Australia some fight. Gets it in. Lenny, New Zealand. Damon with her. Scott, attempt unsuccessful. Some fight. Goes in. And gets that easy. One in. Australia 80, New Zealand 53. Gilbert for New Zealand. Australia doing well. Massive defense put up by them. to take it in for New Zealand. Gilbert. New Zealand, 55, Australia, 80. Australia, Sonfai, Diaz. And they'll try to get it through Crook. Crook. Ledger Walker, trying to get past Lehman. Diaz puts a pressure there. Crook now. Sonfai comes up with the ball. Lehman, Diaz, and successfully gets it for Australia. They stretch the lead, Australia. Subs coming in for both teams. With three minutes on the clock, Australia leading with 82 points, New Zealand 55. Gilbert trying to drive in for New Zealand. Their three unsuccessful. Australia. Crook. So Crook awarded free throw. He's got it in. The 
that doesn't get in. So New Zealand. Avi Heath to Gilbert. Kohuni. They tried to ball, just couldn't get him in. Some fire, Australia. Yes. Lehman will take the ball in for Australia as they take possession. Crook. And off New Zealand goes. How good was that? Kohuni. Australia Diaz. Amen. Some five was there. She gets it in. New Zealand. Scott. Kohunui. New Zealand still at it. Pavihi. Just over a minute left. Australia in a commanding lead, 85, New Zealand 57. It's going to be definitely Australia win. Australia. Diaz. Somfai. Bond. Fula just comes off. Less than one minute to go in this final quarter. Australia currently on 85, New Zealand 57. So five for Australia for their three. New Zealand. Kanuhi. They go up for the attempt for three. Australia taking it down in these final seconds. Bond, it will be over soon. Bond. Some five. Gilbert. Scott. Gilbert. Seconds remain before the final hooter. so far for the women in green and gold. That's it. And this match wraps up the final day of the FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships here in the nation's capital, Port Mosby. Earlier on today, we had the bronze playoffs in the Samoan men defeat Guam to end the bronze. 
followed by the Samoan women who defeated host nation Papua New Guinea to claim the bronze medal as well. Prior to this final match, the New Zealand and Australian men also had their gold medal playoff, seeing the Australian men defeat the New Zealand to get the gold and New Zealand to settle for the silver. And this final matchup, it's none other than the Australians coming for a 3-4-3, defending their under-17 Oceania title. They get the gold. New Zealand will settle for silver. Double victory for Team Australia. Both men and the women have done Australia proud. Those parents that, are, that flew in to be with the children during this FIBA Under-17 Women's Oceania Championship out here at the Sir John Guy Stadium for Moresby, Papua New Guinea. The New Zealand and Australia have qualified for the Under-18 Asian Championships next year. So regardless of who won the gold, both teams are satisfied that they're, that they're able to represent again. They're, they're going to represent the region at the Oceania FIBA Under-18 Asian Championships. Australia well-deserving game. We'll be shortly heading over to Stacy, who is Australia's number eight. Lara Sonfai. Her parents are somewhere here in the crowd. They've been here all week supporting her and the, the entire Australian team for both men and women. So a very good um, support there from the parents flying in to see the children play. I reckon she was the star in this she was goal the star. playoff. Indeed, indeed. She was the star in this uh, final matchup. So obviously, you know, being one of the efficient players of uh, from Team Australia. Definitely. Congratulations to her and the rest of the team as well. We will be. And we'll head over to Stacy, who's with Australia's Lara Somfai. Thanks, team. We're here with Lara Somfai. Lara, that was a great game. Super convincing win. How does it feel to be a gold medalist? Just super exciting. I'm super honoured to be here. To play with such a great group of girls, such a great group of coaches. It's just, I'm beyond honoured to be here. And it was a kind of a, you had a tough game against New Zealand earlier in the week. What were you expecting leading into this game? Oh, we were expecting them to be tough, fight for it. But, you know, we came out here together as a team and that's what we wanted to do. We got our goal, so. Just got the job done. You said before that you um, participated in Jordan, didn't get a full um, tournament in because illness. What did you see in this tournament in girls on the team that really improved? So many of my teammates, every single one of my teammates improved throughout this tournament, including myself. Coaches improved, every, everyone in our staff and our team improved. And I think that's the beauty of tournaments like this. And playing at such a high level, there's so much room for improvement. But if you had to name like one MVP for your team or maybe two, who would you call out? Oh, you know what? I'd call out our physio, Bridey. She's the MVP here. She's been supporting us every single game. Just giving it her all. She's always there for us. I'd say she's the MVP. And where to now for the Gems? You obviously qualify for the Asian Champs next year. Um, and there's a few other things on the cards. But where to now for the squad? Oh, we're just excited to get out to Asia next year. And hopefully get a goal out there too. We're, that's our goal. So we'll work per hard. Perfect. And you also have your parents here who I can see. Is there anyone else you want to shout out or say thanks to while you have the opportunity? Uh, just everyone that's ever put time and effort into me, especially my coach Joey Wright. Just super, super grateful to be here. Perfect. Thanks so much. Enjoy the win. Thank you. Back to you guys. Thank you, Stacy. Great stuff. Lara Somfai. And coming up shortly, we should be witnessing the medal presentations. And it's the Samoans taking home the bronze, New Zealand on silver, and the Australian will take gold home after this week-long FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships.
that was held here in Port Moresby, Papua New Guinea. We'll go for a quick break and when we return, it will be the presentation of the medal presentation of the FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championship.
President Emma Waiwai, Kenji Men's head coach and basketball legend Moi Mori, and Secretary General Alvita Rapila. Let's give them a big round of applause. Please now welcome on the floor the President of the Basketball Federation, Mrs. Emma Wiley. Thank you. Thanks, Laurie, and thank you, everyone. What an amazing week it has been. The FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships that was hosted this week showcased a very high standard of basketball that we enjoy here in Moresby and globally going live. But basketball is not only about playing and having fun. We also know that it is important to, to, to use basketball to deliver messages to the community. As October was the month of this competition, we decided to partner with the PNG Cancer Foundation to promote Pinktober. So thank you to Kimberly and your team for coming on board and really helping us um, drive the message of breast cancer awareness during this week. As Laurie said, I'd also like to congratulate all our teams and a special one to all our winners. Like I said, we have witnessed quality basketball for our under 17s and I know everyone has truly enjoyed watching just as much as I have. But these games would not have been possible if it wasn't for the many partners that came on board to support us in delivering the games successfully. And so on behalf of the Federation, I would like to thank Kumbo Consolidated Holdings, National Capital District Commission, Profi, Budget rent car PNG Sports Foundation, five of our silver sponsors, our bronze sponsors, Telecom Limited, DSP Financial Group Limited, Tourism Promotion Authority, Kumo Minerals Holding, PNG Ports Corporation, Motor Vehicles Insurance Limited, Gorak Accountants and Business Advisors, and Holiday Inn. We also had a few minor sponsors, and I'd like to thank Goodman Fielder International, Tetem Makana Merchants, Air New Guinea, City Pharmacy Limited, Badili Hardware, Color Design and Biogenist Geologist, our live streaming partner. Our program partners have already thanked the PNG Cancer Foundation, but I also like to uh, thank Women in News and Sports, who are our commentators for the whole week. I also want to thank Fibro Shania for giving us the opportunity to host these games and using our games to upskill all our technical officials. They are ready to take on every other tournament that we host, so thank you so much. To our referees and our technical officials, you guys rock. Thank you. Amanda, Joella, and Stacy, a special mention. Thank you for pushing us, for being patient with us, and for helping us when we need it the most. Thank you so much. A big thank you to our medical team led by Dr. Kapua, who I know helped all our athletes during this week. We appreciate you all. Sports is run mainly by volunteers. And this week, our Grey Army were everywhere to ensure that you enjoyed the game, all our games. No words can express how much we appreciate you and value your commitment and passion for this game. So thank you, guys. And finally, to our war room team, 
led by our smart, intelligent, witty, and beautiful Faisin Alalu. Thank you, Bada Helen. We took on this challenge about four months ago, and I think we delivered. Yes, it has been a battle for us in trying to get over the line, but I can proudly say we made it. And so on behalf of the Board of the Basket Federation, thank you to our local organizing committee for helping us deliver this competition. To all our spectators, thank you for coming and supporting all our teams. I believe each, each country appreciated the support that was given to them. And finally, to all our teams, we wish you all safe travels and see you again at the next FIBA Oceania competition. Thank you, Badahere, and may God bless you all. Thank you very much. Let's give her another big round of applause for President of Basketball Federation of PNG, Mrs. Emma YY. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to announce the All-Star 5 selections. In the men's All-Star 5, that'll be presented by PNG men's head coach and a basketball legend, Mr. Moy Murray. Let's give him a big round of applause. For the men's FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships All-Star, we have from Australia, number six, Roman Sulepa. From Samoa, number 10, Elika Tuta Kalevau. From New Zealand, number 11, Julius Halai Fanoa. From Australia, number three, Jacob Furphy. And from New Zealand, number six, Tamatoa Isaac. Let's go, give them a big round of applause. Let's give them a big round of applause. Well done, boys. Well done to the players. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now have the All-Star 5 for the women. The women All-Star 5 will be presented again by PNG uh, men's head coach, Mr. Moy Murray. The FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championships 2022 All-Star 5 recipients are from Australia, number 6, Saffron Shields. From New Zealand, number 11, Kavana Lennon. From Samoa, number 55, Malia Rad. From Australia, number eight, Lara Sofa. And from New Zealand, number 28, Elsie Gilbert. Well done, girls. Uh, once again, Australia, number six, Saffron Shields. New Zealand, number 11, Kavana Lenner. Samoa, number 55, Malia Rudd. 
Australia number eight, Lara Somfai, and New Zealand number 28, Elsie Gilbert. Let's give a big hand to our girls, five all-star, all-star women's. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We'll now have the medal presentations, starting with the men's bronze medalists. The bronze medal will be presented by Faye Zina Lalo. Let's give her a big hand, Faye. She's been working tirelessly right throughout. Number one, from Samoa, Jerome Stevenson. Number two, Deirico Fatoy. Number three, Shalom Poto. Number eight, Owen Faressa. Number 10, Elita, Elika Tuta Galavao. Number 12, Anasi Puleni, number 18, Samika Chong Ni, number 24, Hiram Makbara, number 29, Kobe Utai, number 30, Shama Poto, and number 33, Zacharias Sasul. The head coach, of course, is Tafa McNohan Utai. Let's give him a big hand. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing now the silver medal presentation. Silver medal presentation will be done by PNG Olympic Committee Secretary General Alvita Rapila. Congratulations once again to Team New Zealand. Let's give them a big hand. Number one, Kaworanaki Julian Trecha. Number four, Manaya Riki Tukana Warepapa. Number five, Christopher Christopher Christoph. Number six, Tamatoa Isaac. Number seven, Ryan Hunt. Number ten, Mahanya Heke. Number eleven, Julius Halai Funua. Number twelve, Nick Book. Number thirteen, Kata Hopoi. Number sixteen, William Bright. Bright. Number seventeen, Joshua Willie. And number twenty-four. Ezra Paul Trevor Eagle. Ladies and gentlemen, Team New Zealand and their head coaches, Matt Lacey. Silver medalist men, New Zealand, let's give them a big hand. We'll now have the gold medal presentation for the men. And we'll have FIBA Oceania Executive Director Amanda Jenkins. 
to do the presentation. Congratulations to the winners of the FIBA Under-17 Men's Oceania Championships, Team Australia. Number one, Ned Renfrey. Number two, Nash Walker. Number three, Jacob Furphy. Number four, Shay Brogan. Number six, Roman Sulepa. Number seven, Gok Manuel. Number eight, Emmett Adair. Number nine, Cooper Rawlings. Number 10, Jack Whitburn. And number 11, Ben Walker. Their coach is Robert McKinley. Let's give a big hand to Team Australia, gold medalist, FIBA Under-17 Men's Oceania Championship. Uh, Amanda, you should maybe jump up and give the medal. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll now ask you to stand. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'll ask you to all stand now for the national anthem of Australia. Well done, congratulations, let's give it a big hand. The move on to the medal ceremony for our women. The bronze medal presentation for the women. The medal presentation will be presented by Mr. Ronnie Mayer, our tournament director. Bronze medalists, let's give it up for Samoa. Number one. Kira May Filemu, number two, Sienna Tutani, number four, Therese Rupena, number six, Peta Manu Malego, number eight, Azalea Oloapu, number 12, Isra Paramo, number 14, Jaden Craig, number 16, Loreal Hiko, number 55, Malia Rudd, and number 77, Isabella Gasu. The coach, is Lisa Pauline Epper.
Rods and Livers, some more. Let's give them a big hand. Thank you, girls. Silver medal presentation for the women's. The silver medals will be presented by PNG Olympic Committee Secretary General Alvita Rapila. Silver medalist, congratulations, Team New Zealand, number four, Keilani Albert Neha, number five, Tanika Ledger Walker, number seven, Tia Pavihi, number eight, Olivia Lacey, number nine, Anika Scott. Number 11, Kavana Lenin. Number 12, Anna Bright. Number 13, Rebecca Moores. Number 18, Elsie Carleen. Number 22, Katie Harrington. Number 28, Elsie Gilbert. And number 45, Waheke Kohonui. Let's give it up for New Zealand. And their head coach is Joshua Thompson. We'll now have the women's gold medal presentation. And the gold medal presentation for the women's will be presented by the Basketball Federation of Papua New Guinea, Mrs. Emma Waiwai. Let's give her a big hand, thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, congratulations to the winners of the FIBA Under-17 Oceania Championship Team, Championship Team Australia. <laughs> Number one. Sienna Lehman, number two. Tayahana Bond, number three. Bonnie Diaz, number four. Sienna Harvey, number five. Monique Bobonji, number six. Saffron Shields, number seven. Opal Bird, number eight. Lara Sonfai, number nine. Hilary Fuller, and number ten. Jade Crook. Let's give it up for Team. Australia! <laughs> Head coach for the Team Australia, Kristen Veal. Congratulations once again for our Women's Championship Team, Australia! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please be upstanding for the National Anthem of Australia.
Thank you and congratulations Team Australia. I'd now like to call upon all the teams to come in the middle, centre court, so Australia, Samoa, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, everyone, please come in the middle. Guam, where's Guam? You're there as well, thank you boys. And let's give them a big hand also. All the players, centre court for a team